All right, so welcome back, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being on time. Once again, my name is Rene Escamilla. I'm going, or I would try to explain uh, our next topic. We are going to review previous topic that we checked yesterday, right? So uh, let, me to tell you, uh, let, me, let me to tell you guys, I would try to avoid to speak Spanish because I understand that you are learning and this is the very beginning, all right? So, but I want you to, you guys, pay attention when I'm talking, all right? So if you don't understand, raise your hand and tell me, Mr. Escamilla, teacher, I don't understand what you're talking about. Please repeat that one more time, but try to speak English, right? Try to speak English all the time. If you have any questions or any question, Mr. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me your question. <clears throat> How do you say, can I go, can I see, and then you start talking, right? But try to, try to speak English now, because if you are, I mean, if we are letting pass the time, so it's going to be harder for you guys to learn to speak English properly, okay? So you need to start right now, right now, just right now, okay? So. I will speak. Uh, I will try to avoid to speak Spanish, but I will say some words in Spanish. No worries. All right. So, if you don't understand, of course, I'm going to uh, rewind. You know the process, and I will let you know again the information in Spanish. Si hay que regresarme o retroceder, se lo voy a volver a decir en español. No se preocupe. All right. So let's go. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, double check our motivation. Part and let's see. Give me one second. Motivation. All right. So let's see. Let me know when you're ready to see the motivation area, motivation screen. All right. So do you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's repeat. Motivation, guys. Let's go. Motivation. 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 Excellent, excellent. Remember that we need to be motivated. We need to be smiling because it's raining. We already wake up today in the morning. We open our eyes. We are able to talk. We are able to smile. See, I'm smiling because today is raining. Today is raining and we need to be happy. All right. We need to be motivated. If you're not motivated, you will be. Imagine if, I, if, if your teacher is like this. Okay, guys. Good evening. Uh, would Fredo please uh, read that for me? The verdad que se va bien feo. It's going to, I mean, okay, but yeah. we, we need to be motivated, motivated, right? So remember, look what, what it says or what it says here, our quote. Our quote from today says, think positive, feel positive, and live positive. All right, so let's repeat, think positive. Positive. And live positive. All right, when you said think, no me diga think. No me, no me, haga, no me, no me haga la boquita así. Think, así, think, o ah, think. No me haga así. No que hágale. Think. Your thumb needs to be upper. Your your thumb needs to be upper over here in your mouth, like this. Think. 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 Very good. Think. Excellent. All right. So, excellent. Remember, guys, we need to be motivated. Every time that you woke up, that you woke up every morning, you have to, you know, say every time that you are awake, you need to be like this. Thank you, God, for another day, for another opportunity. And today is going to be my day. All right. Today is going to be my day. And... If you think negative, no sé si les ha pasado que cuando piensan negativo, solo cosas malas le pasan a uno. Ya, ya va a llover, dice. Cabalito, pasando ahí la calle, le pasa el gran chapa, chapuzón de agua, ¿no? Entonces, y así, so you need to think positive. Think positive, feel positive, and live positive, all right? So good things are coming. You will learn to speak English faster. So just pay attention and... Now let's rock and roll our, our class, all right? So let's see who is writing on chat. Let's see. Aquí está lloviendo. Cecia. Okay, Cecia, very good. Try to type it in. Try to write 
or try to send me a message in English, you know, through through the chat. All right. So try to use your translate uh, translator tool. If you're not able to type it, uh, if you're not able to to write faster, póngalo en el en el translator y pum, lo copia y pega y ahí me, pero escribo en inglés. All right. So very good. Let's go. Last topic was, let's see. What was the last topic that we checked last class, guys? Uh, the different jobs. Different um, jobs. Use the do and does. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so different jobs. We check our WH questions. All right, so very good. Uh, we already checked this uh, knowledge check. Let me review this part. Okay, so we already know that jobs vocabulary right so remember we need to identify when we are going to or when we have to deal with someone that is working or has a different title of job title of work all right so you need to be able from now on you need to be able to identify for example if if you see someone with like this guy over here so who's gonna be this guy? Tell me. Let's see. Who's gonna be um, this guy? Who's this guy? A lawyer. A lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. So who's gonna be this lady over here? Singer. 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 Very good. What about this guy over here? Chef. Chef. He is a chef. Chef or? Chef. Cook. 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 Excellent. What about <clears throat> these these two guys over here? She is a waitress. Waitress. And he is a waiter. Wait, waiter. 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 Right? Waiter. Waiter. Excellent. Who's this guy over here? Pilot. He's a pilot. Pilot. He's pilot. A pilot, right? And who's this lady over here? Is a tender. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Very good. What about this guy sitting here? A musician. 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 Excellent. Excellent. I love it. Right on my class. What about this one? Receptionist. Receptionist. Receptionist, right? Very good. What about this lady over here? A nurse. A nurse. A nurse. A nurse. A nurse. nurse. What about the other lady? Doctor. A doctor, right? So let's see over here. Uh, what about this lady over here? She security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Excellent. Security guard, right? Security guard. Excellent. Very good. You see, now you are able to identify these guys and you are rocking the class i love that i love that very good guys very nice very nice very nice let's see all right so we already checked this uh this class so let's jump to the next uh topic let's see no uh, knowledge check is already completed all right let's see lesson objective do and does all right so let's review this uh video all right so pay attention all right and notice the reduction of do and does. Program in English. And notice the or ask, ask, ask. Okay, one second. Just a moment. Okay, we're gonna double check this video again. Give me one second. Let's see. And notice the reduction of do asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. 
Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of doing does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch. All right, class, I uh, just want to make sure I need to confirm. I need to double check with you if this topic is clear. If you don't have any questions or if you have any doubts, concerns, si tiene alguna duda, alguna, uh, como se dice, alguna pregunta, alguna preocupación, let me know. All right. So if I asked, if I said, let's see, Armando, como le, uh, how do you ask or how would be your question if I want to know uh, in Spanish, right? I mean, in Spanish, I'm going to tell you in Spanish, but you need to tell me in English, right? So I want to know how you will say, ¿A dónde trabaja ella? Where do, you, uh, where do you work? Where does she work, right? Where does she work? Mm -hmm. What about if I ask, let's see, um, Jenny, if I ask Q, donde trabaja él, what would be your answer? Where, where do he work? Where did he work, right? Where do he work? Where is he work? Where, do no, he work? where does he work? All right, so, si le pregunto a Maria, Wendy, Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Armando. Uh, Maria, Wendy, what would be your answer if I ask you in Spanish, right? So I'm going to ask you in Spanish, but you need to tell me in English. Uh, ¿A dónde trabajan ellos? Where do they? Mm -hmm. Where, Where do, do they work? Very good. Excellent. 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 All right. So, and what about if I ask, let's see, somebody else here. If I ask uh, Jaime, if I ask you, what do you do? Remember, the, uh, remember if I ask you, what do you do? I, I am asking you, what do you do for work? Ese prácticamente toda la oración tendría que ser así. What do you do for work? All right, so, but uh, la pregunta aquí solamente es, hey, Jaime, what do you do? What would be your answer? I, I am. I, do, I am, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. I am I a am, lawyer, I am a doctor, I am a... I am, I am, I am self, self, self person. I am a self person, very good. Armando, dígame, go ahead. Uh, the pronunciation... But uh, do you is the same uh, uh, more fast or change? When, when and where? Uh, do you. What do you do or where do you do? The where reduction. Do you... mm, the reduction. Do you. Is this, it the same? I mean, it's the same. I mean, acuérdese de que... Only more uh, fast. No, 
No, it's it's the same. As long as you may, as long as you pronounce properly, you know, do and does. All right, so you're okay. No tiene nada que ver que yo le diga do das. No, no tiene nada que ver. All right, so as long as you mention you work, I mean you, I mean the the auxiliary do and does. You know, you're good. All right, so where do you work? Let's repeat. Where do you work? Where, do you, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What do they do? What do they do? What's the, what does he do? What does he do? What does she do? What does she do? What do they do? What do they do? All right. So remember, remember that we have the reduction, right, of do and does. When you say, where do you work? All right. So I'm asking you, where do you work? All right. So, ¿dónde trabajas? Oh, I'm working, you know, uh, a Diana, a Diana company, or I'm working at uh, English Corporative Company. All right. So, but if I I am asking, or if I'm going to, if I if I am asking you, what do you do? Yeah. Oh, I am a teacher that works at that particular place, English Corporativo. All right. So if I am if I going if if I had to ask to let's see Anna, if I say Anna, what do you do? I'm a teacher. I am a teacher. Where do you work? In the school. I am work. Uh -huh. I am working. Or oh, I am working at Colegio Belén. Am, Colegio blah blah I blah. I am working at school. At eh, público. ¿Cómo se dice público? Public. Public. Uh -huh. Public. Uh -huh. Public. I am work in school public. I am working a, a public school. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Pero para ser específico, porque ya sabemos que es maestra, ¿verdad? Pero como necesitamos saber, nosotros queremos saber la verdad, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted viene y me dice, I am working at a public school near to my house. Mm. Y ahí está siendo más que específica, cerca de mi casa. All right. Near to my house. Very good. All right. So, if I, if I am asking... Or if I ask Floricia, what do you do? What will be your answer? Uh, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. In my house. A housewife. Housewife. No worries. Okay. All right. Housewife or babysitter, you know, it could be either or, right? So, see, a veces cuando no, la, las personas que se quedan en la casa, a veces la gente piensa que no trabajan, pero son las que más trabajan. Eh. Ah, aquí me dicen a mí que este, trabajo en mi casa, uh, soy diseñadora y trabajo en mi casa. Oh, okay. And then, then tell me, I am a designer, graphic designer. Yes. I am a graphic designer. Very good, very good. All right, so let's see. Ingrid, what do you do? I'm a radiologist. I am a radiology. Mm, let's see. How can we say radiology? Radiology nurse, radiology doctor, or the radiology bachelor. All right, so. Licenciatura, licenciada en, en radiología, all right? So I yes. believe that's, all right, very, very good. So where do you work, uh, Ingrid? In Clinic Jordan. I am working at Jordan, uh, Jordan Clinic. Yes, very good, very good. Excellent, all right, so. in Clinic Jordan. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. All right, so are we clear with this topic, guys? Yes, estamos claros. Remember that we need to keep practicing. We need to review another, you know, resources. All right. So if you have a, 
access, I mean, if, of course we do have internet, right? So remember after this class, you can go ahead and double check some other topics from some other resources, okay? ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué? ¿Qué dije, Blanquita? I just want to I, I just want to make sure if you if you guys are understanding, all right? Because lo estoy así como evaluando, ¿verdad? Para para hablar, empezar a hablar más inglés, más inglés, más inglés y de repente la clase va a ser full English, all right? So, I want you to you guys learn faster, all right? So, what I just said, uh, Blanqui, is that after this class, you need to look for some other resources, right? Like uh, your cell phone, right? Everybody has cell phone. All right, so check your, I mean, Google um, browser, check the topic, reduction of do and does, and you will see a lot of, a lot of information about it. And the only thing that you need to start, uh, that you need to do is just click on each topic, each link, and you will see a lot of information about this topic. All right, so is that clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Very good, is that clear, Maria? Yes. Yes. Very good. Is that clear, uh, uh, Diana? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. Is that clear, Jacqueline? Yes. Yes. I'm very good. Very good. Right on. My class. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's go, and let's jump to the next uh, topic. Let me close this. Let's see. All right, remember that we checked yesterday, right? So WH questions, all right? So that's another topic. Uh, main topic, when I say main topic is because it's the main ones. Que quiere decir main topic? Anybody? Main topic? Or, to or, tema top principal. or topics, very good, or topics, right? That's temas good. principales, temas principales, right? The main idea, here is that we need to practice English, all right? So what did I, what I just said? La idea principal es que tenemos que practicar, all right? So voy a, tra voy a tratar de hablar un poco más despacio, ¿verdad? Porque yo hablo muy rápido. Es mal que tengo de años. All right, so, but no worries. All right, so, excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez, please be my guest. Could you please uh, read that part for me? By the end of this class, you will learn how to from WH question using the simple present tense. Mm -hmm. Me ayuden esa palabra. Additionally. Additional. Additional. Additionally, yes. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates 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 how this topic is used in a real life a real set, life a real life set. settings all right very good very good let's see uh who will so thank you Ronald. all right so let's see elsie please be my guest read that for me please elsie don't be shy. Don't be shy. You can do it. Believe me. You can do it. All right. Let's see. Diana, please be my guest. Go ahead. Uh, by the end of the class, you will learn how to form WH questions using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates uh, which, which uh, how this topic is used in a really in a real no in a real life a real, setting. Real life setting. Very good, very good. Let's see. Marisol, please be my guest. Go ahead. Marisol Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez Cibrián, be my guest. I'm sorry, Marisol de Los Angeles. I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. Read that Thank for me, please.
Right. And by the end of this class, you, you will how to work and why age question using the simple present tense. Additionally, you you will practice a conversation. Uh, this topic is using in a really live scene. Very good, very good, excellent. Run applause for everybody. Everybody's doing a good job, all right? So, hey, listen, it doesn't matter how you say it. It doesn't matter how you sound. At this moment, I would say it doesn't matter. But after three months or four months yeah. or six months, you need to express yourself in a better way. But you did a good job, all right? Very good, all right? Adriana, be my guest. Read that for me, please. Last one. Adriana Madai, you can do it. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form WH questions using the simple present sentence. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is using in a real life setting. Very good. Let's repeat. Illustrate. 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 Let's, let's, let's repeat settings. 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 Very good, very good, very good. Excellent. My class, all right? So remember, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar preguntas interrogativas usando el tiempo presente simple, all right? Adicional, adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en el entorno de la vida real. Very good. Okay, let's see. And WH questions, right? We're going to double check this part over here. Remember that you guys are going to be able to learn how to create uh, questions, all right, by using WH questions as well, right? So besides this, you will practice a conversation, all right, with your partners as well. Okay, let's play the video and pay attention, okay? Let's go ahead. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. All right, uh, guys. All right, so I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding this part, you know, properly. My question for everybody here is, what type of questions are these ones? What type of questions are the ones that this uh, teacher just mentioned, these ones? All this. What type of questions? ¿Cuál es qué tipo de preguntas son las que estamos haciendo ahorita o las que hizo el maestro? Double, double. Simple present. Simple, simple present. Very good. Simple present. Very good. Very good. Very good. Why simple present? Any volunteer? Why simple present? 
Uh, Why? Speak, uh, what they uh, do in the moment? Because are the the same. I mean, the same the same topic says that, right? El mismo tema lo dice. Simple presente. Son preguntas de simple presente. ¿Qué haces para trabajar? ¿Dónde trabajas? All right. So, si se fija, no estamos usando ningún verbo en pasado ni en futuro. All right. So, simple present. Ya vamos a llegar a, ese, a esa parte más adelante. Pero simple present are the ones where you are going to ask simple questions. Like, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Qué es lo que, que, ¿De qué trabajas? ¿Te gusta? Where, where does he work? ¿Dónde trabaja él? Etc, etc, etc. All right, so very good, very good, guys. I want you guys to uh, just pay attention, please, please. Do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right, so this topic, we, we are just reviewing this topic, right? Remember that we checked this topic yesterday. All right, so do you have any questions so far about the simple uh, WH, uh, simple uh, present question, guys? Do you have any questions so far? Are you sure? Okay, let me stop the recording here and we are going to pass list right away. Okay, so let's see. And I just want to make sure that we have today is, let's see. What date is today? Today is the 15, right? Yes. The 15, okay. Okay. Adriana Madai, Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Present teacher. And Anderson Jeremy Molina Slaya. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Armando Antonio Albanes Martinez. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie Vasquez Hernandez. She's not here. Present teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Carlos Aníbal Martinez Ramos. I'm Carlos, here. Thank you, sir. Cecia Gemina Martinez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Okay, he's not here. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Majano. Uh, 
One second. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Majano. She's not here. Okay. Fabricia Mejibar Vigil. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Griselda Raquel Estrada Landa Verde. All right. Uh, Isabel Araceli Beltran Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And Jacqueline Janet Guzman Bonilla. Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Iván Ventura Castro. I am Jaime. here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zuniga. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karina Jamilet Gonzalez Pineda. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. And Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Uh, thank you. Uh, Maria Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maybelline Lisbe uh, Lisette Ramirez Martinez. She's not here. Okay. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Ronald ya no viene. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Maya. He's not here. Wilfredo Alberto Canaca Rivas. Wilfredo Alberto Canaca Rivas. He's not here. I hear the chair. Okay. I have a problem with the oh. internet. Oh, not a problem. I got you. Jenny Guadalupe Martinez Murcia. Present. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's get back on track. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Just a moment. Teacher, me mencionó, es que un ratito no me conectaba el audio, no he escuchado. ¿Su nombre, mi estimada? Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo. Ingrid, vamos a ver. Sí, la mencioné y le puse que no estaba aquí, pero ya está aquí. Sí, aquí está. Pero... Ok. Let's have her. Oops. It's a moment. Let's see. Okay. So let's set a car. All right. Let me know if you are able to see the screen. Yes. Yes. Very, good. Very good. Let's pass to the next uh, topic. All right. So remember that we just check uh, WH questions, right? So we're going to review knowledge check. Let's repeat knowledge check. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's see. It says like this complete the conversations, select the answer that contains the two words need to complete each question. I mean, each question, okay? So, complete las conversaciones, seleccione la respuesta que contenga las dos palabras que hacen falta para completar cada pregunta, all right? So, what does your sister do? My sister, she is, or she is a nurse. So, what would be the answer over here? Where does she like, or what does she like, or how does he, uh, she like? How like how does she like how does how does she like right so mm -hmm. okay conversation two does your brother or where 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 you I mean where does your brother work where does your brother where, work? where, where does your brother work this one right where one. does your brother work very good oh 
What does he like it? He does really like it. Oh, how like, I mean, how does he like it? Oh, where? Oh, how does he like it? How, how does he like it? it? Excellent. Conversation three. All right, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Where do your parents like their jobs? What do your parents like their jobs? Or how do your parents like their jobs? I guess they like them. How do your parents like them? Excellent. All right. I don't remember what do they work in an office in the city. I don't remember where do they work in an office in the city. I don't remember where. Where, right? Okay, excellent. And number four, conversation four. Where do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I am a student. Remember, very good. I see how do you like your classes. I see what do you like your classes. I see where do you like where? your what would be the answer? Where? How like? How do you like? How do you like? Very good. Let's see. Excellent. All right. So right on my class. Let's see. All right. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn placements of adjectives. Particularly, particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and adjective plus none, all right? So, ya vamos entrando en materia, all right? So, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán la colocación de los adjetivos, particularmente ustedes aprenderán el orden verbo ser, adjetivo y adjetivo nombre, okay? So, my question now for you guys, it's is, is the next one. Let's see. Do you know what an adjective means? Do you know what an adjective is? Si sabe que es un adjetivo. If I said, uh, let's see, Wilfredo, describe yourself in three different adjectives. What would be your answer? Let's pretend that we are in an in a interview and I am the boss, but I am the interviewer person, right? So, but uh, my questions from this interview, the first one would be, describe yourself in three different adjectives, uh, Wilfredo. What would be your answer? Mm -hmm. Si no la sabe, le yo le ayudo, no se preocupe. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, very good. No, not I mean, a problem. Uh, uh -huh. Anybody knows what an adjective means? ¿Qué es el adjetivo? ¿Es? Uh, a and N. No. 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 Un adjetivo. A lo que se refiere del trabajo. Exacto. Pero eh, la pregunta es, descríbase, porque esta pregunta ni en uh -huh. español, hasta en español, yo no, ni en español la entendía yo. Se, lo soy, se le soy sincero. Dígame, Jenny. I am friendly, I am smart. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Right on, right on, right on. My class. Very good, Jenny. All right, so describe yourself in three different adjectives means like uh, who you are. For example, if you are friendly, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Kanakas, you, you, can, you could say like this. Oh, I am a friendly, I'm an easygoing person. I like to work in, in teams. Uh, I like to work under pressure. So everything, todo lo que, que lo que es usted, verdad? Describas en okay, tres, okay. en tres di, de distintos adjetivos. Esta pregunta nunca se le va a olvidar. Créame, a mí no se me olvidó. Y en español le, le he puesto que si la, la, a veces a mí me la preguntaron y me quedé nulo, verdad? Yo sé y que, y que es un adjetivo hasta que aprendí. Pero esto no se le va a olvidar, all right? So never, never, ever you uh, you will uh, forget these uh, questions or this or these details about these questions, all right? So when somebody is asking you, describe yourself in three different adjectives, you will say, oh, I'm a friendly, I'm a hard worker, uh, I like to work under pressure, I'm an easygoing person, I like to play, I like to work in teams, and on and on and on, right? So, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Very good. All right. So, 
I want you to, you guys pay attention when we start using adjectives. Remember, ya quiero que tenga la idea que es un adjetivo. We are going to deal with verbs, adjectives, and nouns, and articles, subjects, um, base form, verb, and all, and all those little details, all right? So just pay attention, all right? So let's play this video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives, particularly you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title that's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe s, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is. is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case a. Then we have profession plus apostrophe s, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. That's stressful. All right, I just want to make a short parenthesis here, guys, uh, just to confirm or double check with you that we are understanding this part by using this uh, formula. All right, so I just I just want to make sure that we understand what an article what an article is, what a profession is. Obviously over here the profession on these uh, sentences are firefighters, doctors, right? And what the s means possessive. All right? Possessive Job, ya sabemos que es un job. Bird to be is, remember, besides bird to be is, what else we have? Is, two more. Uh, are. Um, um. And I'm, very good, very good. All right, so, and the adjective, right? So the adjective here would be dangerous and stressful. All right, so a doctor's job is stressful. All right, so I just want to make sure that we are following the sequence of this formula. Por eso le digo, ponga atención a esto porque si no entendemos esta parte, eh, nos va a costar. Se va a hacer un poco más difícil. All right, so, vamos. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article a or an plus adjective plus noun so let's make sense of the first example now a firefighter has a dangerous job at the beginning of our sentence we will use the an article a then we will have the profession firefighter fire fighter after that, we add the verb has. Next, 
the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. All right, so based on these adjectives that this uh, teacher just provided us, I want you to, you guys, uh, tomorrow create some sentences related to this information. Either way, it could be B adjective, I mean, B plus adjective or adjective plus noun. Pueden ser el verbo to be más adjetivo o puede ser adjetivo más noun. Basado en estos adjetivos que tenemos acá, vamos a crear oraciones usando estas formulitas. Is that clear, guys? Yes? Yes. Very good, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Who said so so? Me. You. Okay, what happened? D tell me. What part you, you don't understand? I will explain that one more time. No, no worries. What happened, Diana? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened? Do you do you, do you get it? I mean, but you see you see how hard it is when 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 teachers are explaining everything in English, right? So you feel, ustedes sienten aquello, ¿verdad? Sienten aquello de que, Dios mío, ya no habla español este hombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, and you are like a, está haciendo doble esfuerzo su cerebrito, ¿verdad? Pero if we don't speak English, it would take longer, all right? It would take longer from today and ever. Se va a tomar larguísimo desde ahora y para siempre. All right, so that's the reason that I'm speaking English is slow, right? It's slow for you to understand what I'm talking, all right? So what you guys need to do tomorrow as homework, based on this, all right, leave me one second, let's see. Based on these adjectives, all right, so el teacher no dio estos adjetivos. De estos adjetivos, usted me va a crear oraciones usando esta fórmula y esta fórmula. Pueden ser una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ahí si quiere le pone otro, otros adjetivos, unas, unas, diez, unas diez preguntas, unas diez oraciones. All right. That's it. Easy money. Como le digo, si puede hacerlas, hágalas. All right. So if you, if you are able to do that, do it. If you're not able to do it, no se, no se estrese. ¿Verdad? Suficiente con su trabajo, suficiente con la clase. Y yo sé que estamos bien tight, estamos bien apretaditos, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se preocupe. All right, so, but, but the, the thing here is that it would be better if you complete all the homeworks, all the assignments that teachers, is, teachers are giving you, all right, so far. Okay, let's see. Let me clean, delete this. All right. So, Using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways. Using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. Mm -hmm. That's an example. A lawyer has a stressful job job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forum. Do you see this example, Diana? Everybody can see this example? Like this example is the one that you are going to complete. Teacher. Yes, Diana. All the time uh, we need to use has uh, for the the, the mini um, siempre vamos a usar el has Cuando estamos hablando de un adjetivo. Y un noun. Ah, okay. Acuérdese que el noun aquí sería job, que es el que va al final. Uh -huh. Ok. Y el adjetivo sería firefighter. Ok. 
A firefighter has a dangerous, y el noun sería job. All right? So, y lo mismo ahí al revés sería, el otro sería como por, be. Como Veamos. guiándonos también, estoy viendo si se podría hacer que en la primera oración de, de que en el objetivo va de segundo, podría ser que el job va después del, del trabajo, supongo. No, Correcto. De, de la profesión. Y Correcto. en el otro va al final de la oración. O sea, en pocas palabras, si lo ponemos en español, dice acá, dice así, un abogado tiene un trabajo estresante. Uh -huh. el, el trabajo, el, 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 el abogado tiene un trabajo estresante. El abogado tiene un estresante trabajo. O sea, solo le cambia lo que es el adjetivo al, al noun, lo, lo, lo transversa. Y solo básese en, esta, en, en estos dos ejemplos que tiene acá arriba. No hay donde perderse. All right. Very good, very good. Excellent. All right, guys. All right, so do you have any questions so far? Are we, are we clear? So you want me to slow down with, with my English? You want me to stop or you want me to keep speaking English, you know, most of the time? Usted es el que manda, ¿verdad? O sea, yo lo voy evaluando, pero yo quiero que usted me diga si me entiende o, o, le, o le bajo o le pongo 50 y 50, o le pongo 75 y 50. You tell me. But remember, it, it would be harder for you after learn to speak English. O sea, más adelante, si usted se va así de que, y ahí lo llevan, y, lo, y, le, y, le, y, le, y, le, y le llevan suándole la orejita, no va a poder, después se le va a hacer bien difícil. Va a decir, Dios mío. So, but you tell me. All right. I know I am the teacher. I am the teacher, but I, I want to make sure that you feel good with me, all right? So I don't want to get you stressed. No quiero que mañana la clase va a estar sola porque el, el, el maestro solo inglés habla y allá no le entendemos nada, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, no, no se trata de eso. Pero this is in an English class, right? This is in an English class. We need, to, we need to speak English. We need to speak English, right? From the very beginning, From the very beginning, del mero comienzo, estamos empezando hablando inglés y hablando inglés. Because I want you to, you guys, learn to speak English faster. Quiero que aprendan a hablar inglés. Like this, faster. All right, so let's see. Knowledge check. Let's repeat. Knowledge check. What time it is? Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Very good. Very good. All right, so let's see. Oops, sorry. I do have over here instructions. Okay, let's see. Mm. Aníbal Martinez, please be my guest and read this for me, for everybody. Aníbal. Right age sentence a uh, different way. Follow the example. What I mean in period? No period. And no period in the, the end of your sentence are new. All right. Okay. Let me read it. Let me, let me read it back to, uh, to you guys. And then somebody else is going to read it. Okay. Because just we have two minutes. Instructions. All right. Write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence need. All right. So, ¿qué quiere decir acá? Que está su... Dice, escriba cada oración de las diferentes maneras posibles. Siga el ejemplo. No necesita colocar un punto, el punto final a su oración. Ya está colocado. All right, let's see. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, Jacqueline, Jeanette, please be my guest. Read that for me, please. Write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence neither. Very good, very good. Let's see. I guess we have somebody else. Let's see. Jocelyn, Stephanie, please be my guest. Go ahead. Karina Jamilet Gonzalez Pineda, be my guest. Okay, guys, we just have a one minute uh, remaining. All right, so. I will see you tomorrow. Remember to double check your platform. You have until this coming Thursday to review everything about your exercises. Please, if you don't have 
that's what I understood, right? That this is what I know. If you don't have 80%, they're not gonna give you the space, all right? So remember, I want you guys pass and I would like to see you next class, all right? So I see you tomorrow. Have a good night and take it easy, all right? And I want I would like to see you tomorrow, okay? Por favor, vengan. No me vengan a ir. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.